Hey Summerside, I hope that you're doing well. Today is December 15th, only 10 days to go until Christmas. That's incredible. Uh, it's coming fast and furious. In case you're wondering what this little contraption is here over my shoulder, um, it's a new counseling tool that I'm using um, and it's been really effective. Uh, it's amazing what prolonged periods of time hanging upside down do for somebody's ability to really focus on the big issues uh, of life. So if you need that, you come talk to me. Uh, actually, no, it's just a, an inversion table for my back. My wife thought it was ugly. I spend a lot of time sitting or standing here at my desk. And so I thought, you know what? When my back starts to ache a bit, I'll jump on the table. Hope I don't pass out. And if I do, hope somebody else in the staff uh, comes to find me. And uh, yeah, I try to deal with this back issue that's kind of a minor inconvenience. This is a crazy time of the year. Um, it just seems like... Uh, life is busy, life is chaotic, and I'm almost afraid to look at my bank account because this is the time of year that money just seems to be flying out faster than at any other point in the year. It seems like, you know, Heather will come to me, my wife will come to me and remind me of nephews, cousins, great aunts, you know, that I didn't even know I had that apparently I'm supposed to spend 40 or 50 bucks on. Uh, it's just unbelievable how fast money flies out of the account. And for somebody who's so naturally conservative with money, uh, like me, uh, it's a tough time of year, but God's been working on my heart and uh, helping me develop and grow in my generosity. The giving to go challenge that we've been talking about here as a church, the goal of raising 25,000 above and beyond our regular budget for the month of December, um, has been a stretch for me. You know, it's helped me and Heather to evaluate our giving, to prayerfully consider uh, what this means for us and how we can contribute to the mission. And I just want to encourage you to do the same. Uh, this is a hectic time of year. This is a time of year where our attention is brought to the kind of the temporal, the materialistic, kind of consumeristic um, type temptations that our, our culture throws at us. And I want to encourage you, this is an opportunity where you can walk by faith and push back against that by exercising the gift of generosity and investing in eternity. The goal of the Giving to Go challenge is to help us end the year in a healthy financial place, to help us head into the new year with the funds that we need to continue the ministry that God has here. I mean, obviously, if you come out on Sunday, we are we are packed to the seams. Um, it's chaotic. It's a ton of fun. God keeps bringing new people. We keep seeing people's lives transformed. Uh, and I want to encourage you to invest in what God is doing here. Um, so be praying for this goal, this 25,000 above and beyond for the month of December and pray uh, carefully how God is calling you to partner and you to give. You can give through our website, through the giving kiosk after church in the foyer or um, in the uh, offering kind of in a regular way. Summerside, I will see you on Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. We're doing a very short Christmas series looking at the names of Christmas. Uh, we're looking at Jesus as the Son of God. Um, and I spent three and a half years uh, doing my doctorate on the Son of God. I did it focused on the Gospel of Mark and the sermon, oddly enough, landed in the book of Luke. So um, yeah, I was excited to learn, study, prep for this sermon. So come on out. Um, I'm looking forward to it and I think there's a lot there for us. What does it mean for Jesus to be the Son of God and what difference does that make in our life? Summerside, I love you. God bless. Have a great day. Enjoy the weekend. Drive safe in all this crazy snow, and I'll see you on Sunday. Take care.